Now, it's no secret that I think we're close to hearing something new from Nintendo regarding Animal Crossing. Whether that's a port of a classic Animal Crossing game such as Wild World that has already been ported to home consoles before, by the way, or some kind of spin-off or mini-game series inspired by the Animal Crossing franchise. And hey, maybe even some surprise DLC is on the cards. After all, Nintendo decided Happy Home Paradise would be the one and only DLC before they realised just how huge Animal Crossing New Horizons would become, and before it sold 42 million copies, becoming the second best selling Nintendo Switch game of all time. If anything will change Nintendo's mind about that, it's the potential to guarantee additional sales from an audience of 42 million. Business 101 Anyway, considering how long it's been since the launch of Animal Crossing New Horizons and based on historical releases within the Animal Crossing franchise, if we include spin-offs and DLC, there's a good chance we'll see something by the end of the year or early 2024. Now personally, I've always thought Nintendo would go down the Wild World Road and re-release Animal Crossing Wild World on Switch, much like they did on the Wii U, or at the very least, include it in the Nintendo DS app as part of the Nintendo Switch Online services, and whilst that may still happen eventually, the recent Nintendo Direct has made me reconsider. Just last week, Nintendo announced Luigi's Mansion 2, which originally released on the 3DS, is being enhanced and ported to Nintendo Switch. This will release sometime in 2024. And I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. This is excellent news for Animal Crossing and now improves the chances of seeing an enhanced port of Animal Crossing New Leaf come to Switch. Logically, I've always thought it would be Wild Wild because it's the smallest version and has already been done and I would always hope deep down it was going to be the GameCube version because that's one of my favourites but for the first time I can really see the potential for Animal Crossing New Leaf to be the Animal Crossing game that comes to Switch. Luigi's Mansion 2 sold a reported 6.44 million copies making it one of the 3DS's best selling games. However, Animal Crossing New Leaf sold a whopping 13.02 2 million copies, selling twice as many as Luigi's Mansion. So if Nintendo are looking back at successful games wondering what to port and they choose Luigi's Mansion, Animal Crossing New Leaf must also be a contender. And if nothing else, this reiterates that Nintendo are more than happy to rework Nintendo 3DS games to work with Nintendo Switch and merge the dual screens down to a single screen. Nintendo demonstrates this in the Luigi's Mansion trailer again, showing the map on the 3DS's lower touchscreen over the top of the main screen. They could literally do the same with New Leaf, bringing our pockets on top of the game and hiding it or enlarging it as and when it's needed. Nintendo have released and remastered a bunch of games for the Switch in the past, especially if you consider Nintendo Switch Online, but seeing Luigi's Mansion port from 3DS to Switch in the latest Nintendo Direct once again proves Nintendo are considering these types of releases. So with all this in mind, it's really not that unrealistic to think 2024 could be the year of the New Leaf port. Nintendo need to do something for the Animal Crossing audience. There's a void to be filled, most likely between mainline Animal Crossing games, and I'm sure they're being pressured by their board to make the most of those 42 million sales. Of course, the same could be said for the GameCube version, given Pikmin 1 and 2 just released, but that's for another video. Personally, this is the first time I truly believe New Leaf could be the version that's re-released next. But what do you think? Could Nintendo already be enhancing Animal Crossing New Leaf for a Switch release? Would you play it? Or would you rather a new Animal Crossing minigame instead? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to learn more about the events taking place in New Horizons in July, be sure to check out this next video. Peace.